So now we're gonna just work on some tiles for right now. As you can see, I have a fair little bit done. But I may have to like rearrange some of what I have here. Gotta turn these off for a hot second. Because I'm trying to think if I need to like remove some of the curtains or move the windows. But the windows take up six rows and I don't have six rows here to move the other windows. But I may just let it be as it is. Oh well. I am gonna lock that layer though, because if I don't, I'm gonna screw up and put something uh, somewhere it shouldn't be. Hmm. <laughs> And actually, you know what? These boxes are open. And this is supposed to just be like the junk drawer anyway. Because this is just like all the stuff I couldn't fit anywhere else. Because like, there's no real point in having these TVs be on the B sheet. I had to be up early for my brother's birthday tomorrow, so goodbye. Okay, Beanie. I hope you have a good night, and thank you for stopping by for a moment. It's always good to see ya. Let's see, let's actually unlock that, lock it back, go to shade, grab my color. And now I'm going to put some clothes in the box. See, one message before I go, I know I don't come to streams much, but I try to get there when I can. It's no worries, Beanie. I appreciate every time you stop by. But if you can't, I understand entirely. Life gets busy. It's just how it be sometimes. I'll be fine. Now then, let's get some white.
Let's see, so we got one book there. I don't need you, Epic Store. Go away. It's like darker there in that one spot. Oh, whoop. Need one hair darker shade. There we go. Get that. The darker red again. Actually, hang on. And I'm having to use my mouse instead of like uh, my tablet, like I normally do. Just purely because I'm still having issues with that. I still haven't quite figured out why. Um, why my tablet screen isn't working. At this point, I am largely convinced that it is something with Windows that's fucking up, but I don't know what specifically is fucking up. Which color did I use? That one. Yeah. Let's flip it up. Let's grab this one. Give it a little bit more shine. Grab the dark one. Do 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 do. Then the darkest color. Do do do. I'll put that back there. Yeah. Why not have a little something something that's just hanging down? And the best part is, we don't even need to grab uh, Maybe, so I have that there Have that there, there, there uh, Bring it down a little more Yeah, I like that. That looks good. So we'll move this here. Uh, we'll rotate it, rotate it, rotate your owl.
vertical, vertical, because I'm not getting it the right way I need it to be. Bring that in. Maybe not. Hold on, I'm, I'm recoloring this to purple anyway, so hold on. Uh, but. Why is it doing it to the whole thing? Weird. I guess that was just a weird glitch with, um... A weird glitch with Psy. Into white instead. Oh. Perfect. cheap, but you know what? Screw it. I just want to get these tiles done. Because the main thing I want to do or accomplish partially tonight is just to get like this little area filled out, maybe with some decorative plants and then just have like broken like broken tiles here. I was just checking a little something something. Let's see. I could also add like puddles. layer. She can never have enough potted plants.
drag those over. What color leaf is this? I don't remember making this color green at all. I do like it though. I don't know what it's gonna go to, so it's gonna go up here next to the orange question mark to save it. Now just to get those in their own little hidey hole. We're gonna make this one over here. Oh. We're gonna make this one over here red. We're gonna make this one here in the middle blue. And this one over here purple. And this will just so I can see what I'm doing. Because this is roughly how I make plants. I find a leaf shape I like, copy and paste them, and then arrange them into a neat little order. So these will be on top. These will be second. And of course the red ones will be on bottom. Because they're the like the side will be darkest. Okay, maybe I should not have made them blue because they're gonna blend in with this one pot. Uh, we'll make them a darker red. That'll be fine. Or I can just make them a different shade of green. Yeah, we'll go with a different shade of green. Have some variety. I can remember the controls here a second. that one there, this one here, then in the middle layer we're gonna go here, put this one here, this one here, and this one here. Whoops. Ah, I'm sure that's fine. So let's see, we're gonna make these leaves the darkest green. The mid leaves, oh whoops. The mid leaves, second darkest. 
And then because they're over here, we'll make those the lightest. And that'll give us like a general frame of reference for what we're going for and working with. gonna need to make these the lightest color go to the next color and we'll add shading here add more shading on these leaves in those areas this on these two because these are closer to what the assumed light source is going to be whereas these down here on this side are further away second thought I think this color is just a color too light so we're gonna go darker Whoop. could just copy and paste the leaves but I don't quite necessarily know right off if I am gonna just have everything copy and pasted and it's just better to not until I'm absolutely sure you know darkest we'll see if that holds up sure about that. Hmm. 
Maybe it would have been better if I'd stuck like, like my usual green scream. Green scheme, rather. But. Maybe that's under like those. See, those are the ones that are kind of like underneath. Kind of, sort of, in a way. It's not really quite working the way I want it to. And because of what these are, there's not really going to be a... Uh... Those aren't really going to be fully visible. We'll include them on the bottommost layer. Because there's supposed to be like a support down in here. how I like that so let's add that there Thank you, Chickadee. I'm certainly doing my best. But I'm not so sure about this plant because like up close it looks okay. But when you back up, it just, it has no legibility whatsoever. If I adjusted the tone of some of the leaves. Oh, shit! Hectic Sketcher, thank you for the follow! 
Thank you for the follow and welcome to the flock. And oh yeah, it did definitely an improvement. Fix this one little leaf down here because it's like in shadowed. Maybe just because these are they're in the most light, they don't necessarily end up with the most light. Oh, I still had the wrong color. How's your evening been? I hope you've been well. That improves the legibility a little bit, but... We still have the problem of it's bleeding into some of the leaves up top. Makes those stand out way, way too much. Yeah, no. That's a little more muted. What if I- oh shit. Put that back. It's a horrible, horrible amalgamation. But it does quite honestly look better than I was anticipating. But it also means I'm gonna have to go back and redo some of my uh, my plants to reflect that because that immediately looks better than these. 
Although I may only have to like redo or touch up one or two of them. Most notably this one, just because it's got some uh, funky legibility going on with it. Just make it easier on myself. Oh dear, yeah. Yeah, look at that. That is a major improvement. I I've gotta I gotta update these. Let's see. secondary color I need to borrow another plant for a second I've gotta borrow the color scheme It's like, while I was initially very happy with these, they're just not looking that good. So we're gonna fix these little bad boys up. If I could not, you know, fuck up my selection, that would be great. That's not too terribly bad. I don't know, does that look better? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is infinitely better.
add a little more there to fully define that. That's like a much more vibrant green. It almost makes this set of green look dead by comparison. I like that green better for that. Oh, that's so much better. Holy fuck. I might leave the chicken that same green, though. I'm not sure yet. So that's still the... Let's fix that. Yeah, look at that! That's so vibrant! Shit, even this plant looks better. Okay, you know what? Well, what do you think, Chicky? Should I leave the, the greenery looking kind of drab in the chicken pot? Or should I liven it up? It might actually. It might, but out of curiosity's sake. Yeah, I think I might go with uh, just leaving it because it's not that Unlike the rest of the plants, it's not as big a noticeable difference. Just stick it up here and attach it to the reference sheet. Okay, we're gonna export that file. And then we're promptly going to open that tile back up. Resolution 200. We're gonna save it again. Overwrite the old C. Canvas resolution 300. Save again. 40 by 48. And replace that. Yes. Boom. And that's the same tile sheet scaled up for. or scaled for, um, I believe, RPG Maker 2000, 2003. It's now scaled for VX. Oh, for XP, it's scaled for VX and Ace, I think. Yeah, it is. And then 48 by 48 for MV and out. MZ. 
back, had to use the little chicken's room. It's okay, welcome back. Oh, you made a little pole for me. Thank you, Chicky. I'm glad you know how to do that, because I sure as fuck don't. And now I even have, like, a better... A much... I have a much better tile set. I have much better greenery, and I'm so happy. Now... I'm gonna save again, because I'm a paranoid saver. I can actually take these leaves, make them their own layer, call them leaves, and they can just stay there. Same for Godot users out there, these tile sets will work for that system too. Yeah! Because like in my, my attempt at writing up a, a legal paper for it, I'm basically just going to say, hey, whatever engine you want to use it in, go for it. Because these are going to be available for commercial use. To think of what other plant to do. Actually, I know what I can do. What I do with the reference sheet? There it is. Move it over here. The catnip signed my cat. Ha. That is an option, but I don't know if I'm going to do that right off. Maybe have like a little canister of it. She refound her cat in bananas, and this cat was stoned. Cat's so silly, chicky.
and oh shit because i have an idea to make my life much simpler copy pasta I was thinking a farm house and your eyes still would be so cozy and adorable. I actually would like to make one eventually. Just like as a little add-on to uh, the home tile set. Cause like, honestly a farm tile set, like I could do like the outside farm tiles, but I feel like, uh, I feel like it would just be like making the house stuff again so it would probably just make more sense to have it be like an add-on because like the home slash base tile set i'm releasing for free you can tip on it if you want but i'm not gonna charge for it my other tile sets yes so this is kind of like a little snippet a little taste of what I've, i have to offer yeah So G. Whoops. Might help if I was on the right layer, wouldn't it? Let's see, we need more chickens, possibly chicks. Maybe all wearing top hats because they're bougie. <laughs> I mean, that can quite certainly be arranged. I honestly have no idea what this is supposed to be. Uh, 
actually, while I'm thinking about it. See, it looks like it might be starting core classes soon. I'm a bit nervous. Don't worry, Chicky, you can do it. And hello, Zaniel. I probably fucked that up again. But welcome in. I hope you're doing well this fine eve. Oh, whoops, I forgot to put my, uh, my dithering back. There, now it actually looks like a, an empty drum. Instead of just having an empty space. That's the right color for this, actually. No, it's too dark. I think that's the color I just used, yeah. Shit.
there. Now it's just that part of it. And I can go in here and just collect this and move it as I see fit. Hmm, Chicky, don't you just love it when you're only trying to modify one thing? Just one itty bitty pat, teeny pat, tiny pat. little thing? I have received head pets! Thank you! Hello, welcome in. But you're only you're only trying to fix one thing, one itty bitty teeny tiny little thing. And now you're like modifying everything. Move one pixel equal destroy everything. Yeah. That's pixel art for you. That's better. But if Bob Ross was a pixel artist, he would be the devil out of them pixels. Yeah, he would. Yeah, he would. You're a good drawer. Thank you, Deadly. I just wanted to add on to these, so because like the more I work on my home tile set and I like refine my style, the more I realize, oh, this now looks better than what I did in my hospital tile set, and I'm having to like go back and gradually like tweak little things I had made. Like, I'm going to have to tweak um, this, which I don't know if I even saved. No, I did not. Ah, shit. Well, that's okay. That's something I can fix later. I am amazed. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's amazing what just, like, a few tweaks can do. Because, like, I'll open up this file from before. Here's what the washer and dryer look like now. And it's just, all I did was add shine to the glass plate and more shadows to the inside. So that it actually looks like it has depth. super relatable. I'm gonna have to do all my old game art or it won't match. Yeah. I could have swore I had some blood already done. And Shaky, what I did to make the shelves dull, I'm probably going to have to do on top of these. Just to, like, make them look good. Because they're supposed to be just, uh, like, flat metal, but they would still be somewhat reflective. Yeah. 
I... I also may have to make a sprite sheet of the curtains. Like, opening and closing them. Just because I can already see it being a pain in the ass. Trying to, like, manually go through each event to make it work. But, uh, Deadly Century in here, I can show you some of the other stuff I've done. Here is Sheet B. And this is like the forward facing sprites for all the couches. Well, for the couch, the love seat, and the chair, bookshelves, both the one and two tile one. We got some china cabinets. We got. Uh, got two types of TVs. We got two shelves with books on them. We got a cordless phone on the hook on the wall. We got a coat rack. We got a smaller table. We got lamp. Got lots of lamp for all your lamp needs. We got a third TV that's just holed up in a armoire. Got three stoves for like in different states. Got cabinetry, which I need to make more cabinets, but like that, that'll be later. We got beds, we got tubs, we got toilets. Oh shit, incoming fish! Hello, Raven, thank you for the resub, thank you for the fish! I was just showing Deadly all my tile set stuff. And of course, here's some like food items. So, little... oh no, my Alexa switched off right now. She didn't remind me what day it was. Oh no, Raven. Well, well, that's okay. Even if you've come in late, it's good to see you. But I was just showing these. Is it tile time? Yeah, just for a little bit. And uh, I had actually just redone these because I had just made this potted plant right here to try to make more plants to fill out space. And this just looked so much more lively and legible from a distance. So I had to go back and redo all the plants. But thankfully it wasn't that hard to do. It was just uh, painting over it. See, I figured out why I love your style so much. It reminds me of a miniature dollhouse. Yeah, kind of. Which also, can you make out the references? They look nifty. Is there something fun? There is something so fun about tiny objects. Yes. They're just so small. One of the references might be too... It might be too abstract to make out, but I can't tell. The food looks so good. Oh yeah, I'm particularly proud of the little tiny chocolate cake. <laughs> Why are you breathing into a bag over the dogs playing poker? But this one right here is my favorite. This is my favorite reference picture. Well, and this one. It is a... Oh. That's the one I noticed first, too. Homer sees a painting of the dogs playing poker and screams at it and freaks out. Oh no! I haven't seen that episode then. But uh, this is the Courage of the Cowardly Doghouse. See, we got Eustace's truck, we've got the windmill, and we've got the little farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. They are iconic. <laughs> Yams. And there's also uh, Ophelia that I uh, tried to translate in this tiny, tiny size. 
I had a much better time of it in uh, 48 by 48. It let me get a lot more detail, but I think I did somewhat okay with this one. But I don't know if it's actually going to be uh, discernible what it is or not for some folks. And then the rest are just like random pictures. And these two will... These three here are just my attempt at um, redoing some pictures I did in 48 by 48. As are these. And this one. But the flowers are just like the very easy ones. Let's say, are you majoring? What are you majoring again? I remember you talking about art history at one point. I am majoring in visual design. So uh, what I'm doing right now, the visual design of these things, this is my strong suit. And that's what I'm going to school for. They remind me of the little details like the ones from the horror game called Home. Yeah, kind of. I must send the poker clip on Discord, yes. Oh, and house, yeah. Like, it's a very... It's a very close style. Although, I, I did try to model this style after two people in particular. Uh, I am a huge fan of both Tsukima's resources and Malibu Darby's Pop City Horror tile set. And this is honestly my attempt at an amalgam between the two. And I think I've done a good job. But uh, when I look at these, I can see where one has a lot more influence over the other. How am I going to make blood? Because, like, part of the palette I was using for it is already in this side of the bed. Oh, well. Worry about it later. You know, it might help if I was actually drawing on the right layer, wouldn't it? Hmm. Oh shit. I always forget I have to hit the control and the alt key for this. See, I think we're taking some classes that are similar. I believe I saw a topography course coming up for me. I can't wait to use InDesign again. Certainly not going to punch a hole through my laptop. Oh yeah, you know, uh, Chicky, have have fun with that. You, uh, you're, you're gonna need it. That, that's all I'm gonna say. Let's see, let's invert that. Well, 
I mean, like, the, technically, I guess you consider learning about pointillism as learning about pixel art, but, um, there are, like, design courses you can take to learn how to do any kind of art better than what you do. I still like it better on the... I'd say I can link paid and free ones if you want to learn pixel art. With Quiz's permission, of course. Yeah, you can do that. You're a mod, so you should be able to link uh, freely. See, I want to take an art class bad. All I have is boring culinary. Well, culinary is not that bad. At least you get to learn how to cook. That kind of makes us like three tiles tall. See, I have to learn everything about stovetops and cooking methods. Most of the things we learn, we never use. Well, it's okay if you never end up using it. It'll be information that'll still be good to have on hand. Just the recipe. Mm. I'm having to look at how I did uh, blood prior to see how I'm how to do it. Just kind of poured blood everywhere. Rest of the class is not needed. Mm. Well, I mean, I imagine you had to be learning like some amount of like safety, right? YouTube pros. I will try to get the free ones ASAP. Oh no, not YouTube. How could it freeze? Not now. Ah. 
I suppose that's all right. They might not be experienced in this pixel art, but I think what you're doing is, with the slime is good. It depends on what the person who's bleeding was doing while they were bleeding. Yeah, that's true. At least that's what I think. Oh yeah. Like, the uh, bleed pattern very much does depend. And this is just more of like... Gore house splatter. Kitty alert! Kitty alert! There is a kitty alert! Kitty alert! Alert, alert. Very dismal information, but this one is free and he knows his stuff. Is that the di die the guy from like um uh is it like the Icarus guy? Cause I wanna say you've linked his tutorials before. And his stuff's always good. Less dense, it might be easier to get to complete as a beginner. See, my dog stepped on my phone and pressed a lot of buttons. Oh no. Your dog didn't accidentally order like a shit ton of food, did she? No, good. Let's see. He's like the Bob Ross of pixel art. Oh yeah, him! Yeah, 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 yeah. So you don't want it to be that color. That's the lighter one, that's the darker one. Ugh, that doesn't make it legible though. Maybe if I do a purple instead? Ugh, that looks awful. Someone's built their jam! It's everywhere! lighter this was darker I don't want that drop there but maybe we'll do it like this
Let's see, only thing I can think of when the grumps did an escape room. Someone's drinking a lot of syrup! <laughs> Oh no. That's a little better. And that makes it look like it's got a little shine. At some point I want to like redo this bed but in pink because that's going to be the color of one of the of the girls bed in um, the game I'm working on. I'm basically going to like use a separate tile sheet just to add on to this. Actually, it's almost 11, so I think with the, the last bit of the time, I'm going to move the blood over. That might be too much on its own, though. It's called Summoning, and I have already played it. I played the old version of the game on stream before. But I can show what little I do have of it. Oh, hey! Hey Chicky, guess what?
You'll see. <laughs> you got that AXE to stop working. Ha! Uh, it'll start up again in a moment. Yes, you should see something now, Chicky. That brings out Wingle Pokemon. At least I certainly hope that was your uh, Steam username. Any hoozles. Let me go to, uh... Okay, good. Okay, good. Yes, I did send it to the right person. Uh... Well, it should show up under gifts. You'll know it when you see it. Anywho. Let me get the uh get this open here. Yeah. Shit. Let me just make sure that I have nothing identifiable up. Borb is simply master of suspense. I see it! There you go. <laughs> Steam spring sale! And I still have a bit left from taxes. Nightball, please don't ban me for caps. It's important. It's okay. I think it's like 50 caps is the limit. And you're a mod, so it's probably not gonna do anything to you. Let's see, is that gonna show it? Uh, good enough. So, this isn't the game, but this is like... I made some preview maps to show off the tile set as I was working on it. Yes, I, I gave Chicky a uh, MZ. Which, for anyone else that is debating trying uh, RPG Maker MZ, it is almost half off at 45%. 
I type Night Bob, which isn't even the right bot. I'm using Mix It Up. Uh. Hold on one second. Because I have other things that I am working on as well, and I do not want to actually show them off. So, like, here's this, which I still need to actually, like, update Shores. Hold on. Shit. <laughs> eh. Why am I like this? Maker projects, uh, MZ file, scripts, lighting, Shora. Wait, did I not download the new version? Really? Thought I did. Heck. Hold on. I need to go get Shora's lighting mod. Items from that watermelon game. Oh, why do you have so many items from the watermelon game? Demo, demo. 16 days ago. Yeah, there it is. Okay, lighting. Replace file and destination. Projects, file, board, JavaScript, plugins, replace. You can't stop playing the watermelon. I don't blame you. Okay, okay, I think we're good this time. I think we're good this time. I think. But yeah, this is a summoning. Take two, using uh, all new assets. I don't have my school tile set done, so I've just got this here as like a rough approximation. And this is like Jill's home just to keep everything in a neat and tidy little folder. Got the first floor, which is also just to keep it in a tidy little folder. Here is the foyer. The foyer, one might say. And that's where you can initially come in. And like, oh, the back door is going to be like right here. And over to this, through this door right here, is, where is it? It's this bedroom right here. It's just a small little bedroom, which, honestly, I think I would rather have, like, a little rug here like that. And then so that it doesn't... Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I got the, like... I, I've made the house much 
bigger than the original game, but I've tried to keep the rooms compact so they're not like huge. Through this door is the first floor bathroom, so it's just like an extra hiding space. And there is a reason for that. And I'll get to that in a little bit. We've got- this will go upstairs and we'll get there next. This goes to the dining room. Which, uh, as you can see, is a pretty damn bare. Oh yeah. It, but, uh, like, when I was making this house, that's when I realized, like, oh, this house is really bare. I don't have anything here. Like, at all. So I'm, like, having to rectify that. Then, of course, up through this doorway, which I left open to give, like, the, you know, the hint that, hey, you can go up this way. It's like a overpass into the kitchen and living area. Which, actually, since that... That's, like, three wide. It's like one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Fuck it. We'll do it like that. But this would be like the, the dining room into here. This is like the little kitchen. I did not think to make like a bare back for this, which would it would need that, but I'll I'll deal with it later. There's going to be two doors here. They're going to be glass doors. So there's going to be two ways to get in and out of the backyard. There's, of course, the TV here. Got this lamp. Which, actually... I... Projects... Uh, my brain checked out for a moment. And it's still checking out. Whatever. It'll come to me later. <laughs> but yeah, which, that's also right here something else. So, um... about that It's okay, the brain do that sometime. Yeah, it do. I hate it when it does it, though. Just put that back for right now. But yeah, this is like the living... The living slash kitchenette area. Well, not really like a kitchenette, but like open floor plan area. And of course, this way it leads right back into the foyer. So like... Because, like, it's kind of, like, Aoni-esque, where you've got to worry about your pursuer chasing you through the building. Now we'll go upstairs. Oh, we got, like, the mirror here. Through this door, we have the upstairs bathroom. Yeah! I just don't have it turned on right now because I forgot.
Whoop. Oh, that's so much easier on the eyes. Bruh. But anyway. If we go back to the upper landing, we can go through this door here. And this is Jill's bedroom. And, uh... As you can see, um... It's kind of close to how it was in the original game, but not quite. Because, like, I have the window set as being right here instead of being over here. I thought about it being... I thought about making Jill's room right here. But... I don't know, I liked it better down here. Of course, I can always swap them around. I like the vintage TVs. Oh yeah, it's quite nice. I, I thought Jill would, like, especially with the size of the house, I kind of figured Jill would probably be, like, that spoiled kind of kid who would have, like, a TV in her bedroom as a child. Then, of course, if we come back out, we have this room right here, which is storage, which I may put a bedroom in here. Or not, like, a bedroom, but, like, a bed in here. Maybe just, like, have the mattress taken off, because this used to be her grandma's room. She used to live with them. And I want to put, like, storage stuff in here as well. So, like, have, like, the bed shoved to one side, have a shelf here. Or maybe have it shoved up to here and have, like, all the shelves over here, I don't know. Just, like, maybe they couldn't do anything about the room and... That's how it's gone. But yeah. And then coming back out through here, we have this room right here, which is the parents' bedroom. And as you can see, it's uh, rather spacious. This is a room that I'm really trying to fill out because I do not like how large and empty it is. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, it's still like that one, one, two, three. So, um, actually, I could just, how's that look? Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah. Your mapping is so much better than my crappy box. Aww. I'll just leave that like it is for right now. And of course down through here is the ensuite, which kind of looks like hot garbage right now. Oh, it's because I don't have the towels or the rugs here for this yet. But, like, these are rough approximates, and, like, that's here to be, like, a mad so that the plunger isn't, like, putting dirty shit on the floor. And I'm thinking I'm probably gonna have to, like, change the tile here. So, that's, like, something down the line. But, yeah. There is a reason why there is an extra bathroom downstairs, and that's because depending on what you do in the game, this entire bedroom becomes locked off. Uh, spoilers for anyone who hasn't played my game, which not surprised, but if you haven't, uh, one of the main characters, or one of the three characters I should say, dies. And you'll find her body here in front of the mirror. And if you do a series of events correctly, you have a chance to save her. Not in the original game. Uh, in the remake, you'll have a chance to save her. And you'll take her through the parents' bedroom into this bathroom and stick her in the tub. 
and then you come over here to the cabinet, find first aid supplies, patch her up. And then she just kind of chills out in the tub for the rest of the game. Which, actually, let me see if I already have that implemented. I probably don't, but, like... So much to apologize? Yes. That should not be seance done. That should be apologized. If clothes are changed. So yeah, basically, like when, um, when Ashley first shows up to the house, she unintentionally pisses off Jill. If you apologize, it puts you on good terms and she gets to live. If you don't apologize, you're locked into the other two endings. You don't get the true ending. Well, the air quotes right. The coding in RPG Maker is very easy in that it's just like doing this. It does teach you how to do game logic. So if you wanted to like learn some aspects of coding, this would teach you the logic of it. But it's um and it will organize it for you. Yeah, exactly. And then you've also got... Still cool though, I've never seen what the commands look like. Oh yeah, it's really nice. Like, you can come in here and organize everything. You could say, like, armor could be t-shirts. And your weapons could be spoons. And they would look like that in your menus. Imagine the size of the brain needed to code a coding device. Oh, yeah, like... I, I may have my complaints about RPG Maker, but... They they do their job. They do a very good job at, at making this program. Now, if only they would stop fucking with it, that would be great. Oh, and here's one of the coolest things. For RPG Maker MZ... You can choose between 48 by 48, 32 and 32, 24 by 24, or 16 by 16 tile sprites, or the sprite size. The way I'm making mine, I can only use them in 16 by 16, 32 and 32, and 48 by 48. I cannot get 24 by 24 the way mine are made. So that might actually uh, knock me out of a couple of different RPG Maker versions. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, uh, in my, like, they made it far more customizable than they did in older versions of the Maker as well. Because, like, you can tell it if you want. You can only have just save in the menu commands if you want. That's it. No items. And you can have, like, item categories like item and key item, which I didn't have that distinction in my game before, but I'm having it this time just for, like simplicity's sake and to differentiate the items that can be used manually and the ones that can't here's like all the music stuff which I've already yeeted most of it some of it I can keep in there but I just rather not Which I may, like... Well, I'm gonna leave, like, Summoning there. But it's gonna have, like, a different full title. And here's, like, one of the common events I'm going to need. 
Tile sets home, so like I've got home set up. Which I can actually like change that out. That's what I was actually gonna do earlier, but I'll, I'll do it later. Oh, something that's really nice about MZ is I can click and drag and it automatically changes everything. So like if I go to D and I wanted this entire like column here, boom. I, my computer seems to be lagging a little bit while doing this, but that that makes them all X's. And I can undo it at the same turn by right clicking on them. Because if I kept left clicking, they would turn into a star, which is a passability tile. And of course it just loops back through. Oh wow, I don't even have like the new... This is using the old, old, uh, sh she sheet shit. But now I'll have like even more decor and it's gonna be fucking great! That's good, it changes, yeah. So, uh, actually, hold on one momento. Summoning image tile sets. MZ file. That's the wrong one. Put those down, put that down, put that away. And now if I open this up, oh no, these are all like, but yeah, being able to click and just drag over the tiles is such a fucking boon, so you don't have to like constantly change it. You keep clicking over and over and over again. Whoops. Default tiles are pretty nifty compared to- oh yeah, like the newer tiles are just- they're great. And now I can just change all of these as well. And it's just, it's just so nice how fast this can go. I don't know why MZ is wanting to lag on stream now. Like, I have... I have a really strong GPU, I should not be lagging in RPG Maker MZ. But then I think it's kind of uh, infamous at this point that MZ and... Well, RPG Maker in general and... OBS just do not get along very well. Did I not? If MC can take out the lag, I might be able to work on Miss Kitty on RPG Maker again. Um, I think you should be able to just fine. Overwrite that tile set. I had to find plug in some of the scripts I had. You shouldn't have any trouble with that. The amount of 
tile set and plugins for fucking or yeah, for plugins for MZ is fucking insane. Normally I try to do uh, avoid doing this when uh, I haven't finished the sheet, but I want this in there already. Whoops. Wait. Hold on. Uh, I'm having technical difficulties. Okay. After we change pet tabs, let's play apply, okay. And now if we open up D now, yeah, we can we got them. Of course, we want to make this blood like that. Ooh. There's passability, of course, passage. Oh, but here's the thing I'm looking forward to the most. I can modify the terrain tag, which it looks like... I oh, No, I think that's the default. But, um, oop, that's the wrong thing. Shora's plugin, the one I was getting and updating? It should now have, like, yeah, terrain tag! It's got terrain ta tags now, so it'll, it'll use them automatically for doing shadows, so, like, you won't have to constantly change it. Which is gonna be nice. Oh! Oh no, the stairs! There we go. Have to fix these. Go to the foyer. Nice. And then of course I can just go around and I still need to add a fireplace. I keep forgetting to do that, but I think I'm probably gonna make that be like a um I'm probably going to make it into a sprite set, just because I think that would be a lot neater to do. I may have to change that to be better, because I'm not too happy with how it looks. I may have to make it white. But yeah, like, here's study again. I am just... I am so fucking pleased. Well and truly with this. Oh shit, that changed the walls. I 
I had to spray my nose. No worries. Uh, we're gonna make the walls this color again. Let's see, so the foyer is still the foyer. Um, I actually think I want to make them like this, though. Give them some texture. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Study can stay as it is. Dining room is fixed. Um... You know what? Why shouldn't this have a floral wallpaper? And then we can just make the kitchen area white tile. So that it stands out. Maybe? Uh... I like that a little better. I like that a little better. And as you can see, there's actually now shadow behind the TV. It looks like there's actually like light being cast. And of course, this bathroom doesn't need to be changed. This... I think I'll leave this one alone as it is, just because I do like it as is. The garage... Oh, actually. I can get rid of that now. Because I made this step here for this express purpose! And of course, the backyard is empty because I haven't made a backyard tile set. And we can leave the upper landing as it is because it kind of makes sense that the upper landing would have that kind of walls considering the foyer had this kind of wall. Uh, Jill's room, it's still okay. Murder room, still okay. Upstairs bathroom, it's fine. Doesn't need any repairs, I don't think. Yeah, it's fine. Jill's parents' room, it's fine. Ensuite. Hold on. See, go to D. Whoops. I'm gonna have to put the toilet on an upper upper how about, how about an upper level. Let's see, where the fuck is the toilet? Excellent. Now that honestly looks leagues better. Let's see, let's get rid of... Oh. Why are these on this level? The fuck? Hmm. 
Let's see, the parents' room is already red, so we're gonna put like a green bed over here. Just give this room a little more personality. Stick that there. Now it isn't just a giant empty room! Let's see now... And what's nice is that like... When I have a lot of items using the same wood color, the colors I use for wood together, I always worry about them blending together, but like, they are standing out quite well. We're gonna go to the kitchen. Wait. It can go on the TV! Chicky, you're on the TV! You star! Whoop. Uh, with that level of green, maybe not there. Ma! I'm on the TV! <laughs> yes. Uh, let's... I look perfect there. You really do, though. And actually, I want to move this over. Just a hair. I guess it's fine if, like, this one little area is a little bare. I don't know. Uh, 
I really don't want it to be, though, so you know what? Plant. And we'll stick a rug there. I have pictures in the Discord. It's how I feel right now. I'll look at it in a little bit. Uh, they kind of blend in. Whoops. They still really blend in, so we're gonna undo that. Don't really need that. Wish I had something else I wanted to make, like blinds. I'm just gonna end up making another junk drawer. At this rate. Put that rug there. One rug here. Oh shit. One rug here. Move the toilet. One rug here. Put the toilet back. Delete this toilet. I think I'm gonna leave that as it is for right now. Ghost toilet. Dun dun dun. I still don't have anything made for the garage, so it's just gonna have to still be its own thing. The backyard we leave alone. We'll leave that alone because that's kind of like. Hell. Put these up here. Man, if I made a small enough table, I could, like, have something here, but I can't. You need help for the garage, or are you good? I'm probably gonna be good, to be honest. Why not have a bookshelf right here? Why not? Why shouldn't I have a bookshelf right there? It's my house. I get to design it. I like that. Uh, actually, let's do the church.
like that a little better just to like squeeze it in a little more but at the same time it's like it makes it look uneven even though there is like this imaginary second tile right here putting it back Um, actually, you know what, no. Let's go back here, grab this table. Go to this one. Go to C. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, it's fine. They're just paper plates. Yeah, because, like, they were having a sleepover, so, like, they would have ate down here. Because, like, having the seance was... While it is still against the rules for Jill to do, like, she was still gonna adhere to some of the other ones of the house. So they had pizza. Uh, it would make sense for them to have like a small trash can over here. For like parties, maybe. No, they would like to have a like, small, polite one. Whereas the big open one would be in the kitchen here. And they get exactly one potted plant. One unit of plant. there. Have a little Cyclops painting. I might have to move my paintings up one pixel. I might. But I like where they're sitting for right now. Jill's bedroom is fine. She doesn't need a plant. This one's fine. Ah! Oh shit. Random plant, go! Doesn't really melt with that corner. Ah. Jill, who has always wanted a plant, but she can deal without having one.
Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll have it there. I think that's fine. Mainly just because I want the two siblings. Or like the two- well, fuck it. It's not like they're really actually going to be part of a puzzle. But I think I may swap them out. Because I don't want to accidentally like, confuse a player to like, Oh, there, there's got to be a puzzle here. Like, why else would these- to be here like this. And... Maybe not that plant. Maybe... Uh... I think that one will fit best, quite honestly. And then, of course, I've already done up this room. Although, I guess I could use, like, another painting. I kind of like that. It's kind of like there's a painting leaning against the bed. Yes, yes, yes! This is gonna be awesome.